Hello, welcome back. It's Neil from Acoustic Sessions Playlist here. Some of the slightly different this time. It's a, not a song. I'm just going to um, suggest maybe how you can improve your uh, guitar tone, um, which is, is kind of important. A lot of the time it's, it's more important for the guitar player than the actual guitar audience. If you've got a decent guitar and you've got a decent PA, you'll do a decent sound. But if you're worried about the sound of your guitar, it doesn't really, doesn't really help you play. So I bought a bit of kit a while ago. Some of you might have seen it. It's the, the Bags uh, voice print, which I think is really good. I've used it on a couple of recordings lately. Um, I'll stick them up here if you're interested to hear the, the nice sound of the guitar. Um, I wanted I want to show you is not through my, my Taylor 814. I've, I've done a voice print for that, but I'm not going to show you that today because this is about live, you know, acoustic rigs that you might to, to get the best sound out that you can. So this is my Taylor GS Mini. I've had it for about seven, eight years. I used to have the uh, the stock Taylor, and it wasn't the ES2. It was, I think, the EST, I think they call it. I'm not sure. Anyway, don't quote me. I uh, never really liked it. I mean, I never got any complaints when I played, but I never really liked it. I thought it was a bit harsh. Um, and I've recently installed the, the Bags Anthem SL, which, which I like. It improves the tone. But something was still missing for me, and it always is, kind of. Yeah, but so that's not a real... It's not a... I think against the bags uh, anthem, I think it's very good. But what I'll do is I'll run through how this sounds raw with no voice print, and then I'll dial in the voice print. I mean, this is not a um, a user demo. It's more a sound output uh, video. There's plenty of ones that show you how to do it, but what essentially you need to do is you need to record the sound, an IR essentially, of your of your guitar using your iPhone, the app that comes with it, and it generates it. And you can EQ it. So I've got mild EQ on it, um, but nothing major, just running off uh, a bit of the bass and, and uh, a little, giving a little bit of air to, to, to some of the highs. So here's what it sounds like, just the answer with L, and we'll dial in more and more of the voice print. So that's like it, zero. Sorry, that was 70. Let's put it down at zero. So this is zero. This is zero. So you can hear quite a bit of difference there, or a massive bit of difference. I mean, the SL was good. with that life. Let's dial in more of the tone. 25 now. Already a difference, yeah? because it gets a bit too eco. 100 for me is a bit eco. So this is about 80, which is what I would like to play at normally. and see what see what that gives so that was a 70 there was a hundred it's just a bit bassy for me a bit woofy but if you're finger picking it might work so let's add to flare it down about the 80. So 
true. And even for finger, finger picking. Sounds good. So there you go. Um, and just to go back to zero again, just to remind you. off the highs. Get a nice bit of bass though. Nice clear bass. Anyway, I hope you like that. I hope you found that interesting. Consider it. I think it's a bit of a game changer for live uh, for live sound. Anyway, I'm not sponsored uh, sadly by other bags. Uh, you'd think so with this and this, but no, it's purely just my own opinion of the stuff. Um, and, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.